Hello everybody and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be exploring the Maw. Um, I've located this. I've been here once or twice, but I don't really remember anything about it. So we're kind of equally exploring it together. This should be fun. It's like a reaction video. I'm becoming a reaction channel. Wow, look at all those floaters. Sorry, I, I can't do it. I don't have the uh, the hype. There are quite a few floaters here. So it looks like there's uh, some camping stuff out front of this maw area. So one, two, and three taken care of. I guess they're glowing piles still exist. They're uh, light effect. Yeah, there's nobody else there. I'm just going to take a berry mentats to see through the floor. And there's no enemies still there. So again, yeah, we have uh, all this camping stuff here. I already looted a uh, fishing rod from there. Some wood. So, there is a giant hole in the ground. I'm guessing this is what they call the Maw. I wonder if this is an actual landscape um, uh, feature in the real world that this is based off of. Because some of the locations are actually based off of uh, features in West Virginia. Where, where are we? West Virginia? West Virginia? I'm a Canadian. I have no idea any of this stuff. Yeah, West Virginia. I assume West Virginia is west of Virginia. But I'm just speculating. I'll tell you something that screws up a Canadian school kid. The fact that Washington DC and Washington have no relation with each other really screws you up. Because you hear about Washington and Washington and you just assume that everybody's talking about the same Washington. Turns out there's two. Also, that weird bit where Washington, D.C. isn't really a state is kind of weird to, to people from outside the country. I'm just chucking that one out there. Um, okay, so there was a steamer trunk here. Oh, there's some deeper water here. We'll go explore that in a sec. So there were some more floaters down here. There seems to be some skeletons and, again, a steamer trunk. Steamer trunks, um, uh, they were supposed to be sort of this boss chest style idea, but... Unfortunately, nobody cares about anything that isn't legendary. And their loot is rather unspectacular. Well, there is the bones of a large creature down here. Um, a large snake. That's terrifying. Uh, there is some cultist monuments here. There's some more bones here. Some more skeletons again in the water here. Oh, there was that uh, uh, blue floater. There's a, some aluminum here. So we have a dead settler corpse and another pit here full of bones. It's worth look, taking a look at in amongst these because there's uh, sometimes um, when you have this much stuff scattered about it's a good place to hide secrets little items and stuff yeah I think that's it for the maw I'm gonna go around uh, go up and around the outside just to see if there's anything else I missed a medical scanner from somewhere. Weird. I 
yeah, I think that's it for the site. Um, there wasn't much that was spectacular, but we'll take it back and break it down anyways. Uh, just to say we did. And I know this was at night and the lighting isn't very great, and I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this is still good for you. That's actually a cool shot. This will be our... This will be our photograph or something wider like that. Wonder if we can do sort of the god rays coming in like so. The sunbeams. Moonbeams. So let's do the thumbnail has to be kind of focused, but we'll do this here. Or one out. Yeah, let's do that as well. Two options for us. All right, let's go back and do a scrap and see what's here. Is it in game? Sun seems to be rising. It is 4.53. You can always check the in-game time if you weren't aware by looking at the uh, uh, clock here on your pit boy. So we did get a few floater freezer sacks. I guess if you're looking to craft uh, floater grenades for any weird reason, that might be a good place to come to pick a few up. Junk wise, uh, we did get fuel because we did kill two of the flamer ones. Uh, and then we got a, a, a basic amount of uh, ammo. Uh, I guess we did get six acid and eight oil. That's not too shabby. Oil and acid are always well received. Uh, and the adhesive as well. I mean, overall, it's not spectacular. Um, and there wasn't anything else really there to farm. I didn't see any minerals on the walls or anything. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post it below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.